Adventures. Hi. Welcome to another one of our Floss 2 videos. We are Garnet Rose Stitchers and this is video number three and we just want to say thank you for stopping by and taking a look at our video. I'm Jeanette. I'm Cheryl. And uh, we're really glad you guys are here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit and talk about a few stitchy things. Mm -hmm. um, we're in a different location today. Yeah, we're at my house this yeah. time, so I made her bring all her stuff. Uh, yeah. She did much better than I did. <laughs> I only forgot two things. Only two. That's it. Well, for now, at least. That I can remember. <laughs> we'll find out. It's fine. But, so this is the first time I've ever been to Jeanette's house, and I want to live here. Oh. <laughs> and oh, she, yeah. I, we're in her little lair, her craft room. It's my, what, what do they call it, a she shed? Yeah, but so it's attached to your house. It's attached to my house. So I don't know if it's a she shed. Maybe it's a... A she cave. She cave. A she cave. <laughs> it didn't used to be. Yeah. So we should probably say what the date is. I don't even know what the date oh. is. It's March something. Uh, it's March, March 12th. March 12th. March 12th, 2023. I have my book of days. I had to look. I don't know. I don't wear a watch. I don't have, you know. <laughs> and my phone is there that we're recording on. So yes. I can't. Yeah. So I will do one tiny little thing. <clears throat> and there's a very, very, very minuscule chance that my longtime best friend from when I was like five years old mm -hmm. would her chance be watching this video mm -hmm. and if she is Nicole I want to say happy birthday happy birthday <laughs> yay so yeah that's fun yeah I like birthdays me too yeah not mine I decided I'm not getting any older I'm just gonna stop aging I'm just okay you're 25 it. forever I wish or something I wish I don't want to be in my 20s again oh no I don't want to do that no again. no 30s 30s good. were good yeah 30s were good I'm turning 40 at the end of this month. I won't tell you how old I'm going to be. I know how old you're going to be. I have it written down. <laughs> you're such a brat. You're well, a because brat. I found out last time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> brat. So now I know. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let's talk about what we're talking about. So, um, let's see. We have... Um, sorry, I've got my... Have notes. My notes. Um, sort of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two, we're up to 241 subscribers. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for all of you that stick with us. And yeah watch our shenanigans especially like the last video video number two the audio on that was like super weird in the first like 12 minutes so I'm not sure what happened with that sorry um yeah I don't know what happened because I didn't when I was like editing the audio editing the video it didn't sound weird it wasn't until it was uploaded and then I couldn't take it off and upload it because it would have taken like 12 hours so yeah, don't worry about it I was like it's fine. Sorry about that. Really? So we're learning. We're it's, on video this, three now. <laughs> this is so. Sorry. This is a whole new like experience for both of us. I yes. am super not tech savvy at all. Yes. I'm lucky I know how to turn on my computer. Yes. Um. So bear with us. It will get better. Um. Yeah. So we're just really excited that you guys are here. And mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Okay. So today we're going to talk about um market market um last. Let's see, I don't even remember last dates. weekend. Yeah. So last Friday, so March 3rd, 4th, and 5th, 2023, was Nashville Needlework Market. And that takes place in Franklin, Tennessee. And um, we both work at Maggie's on Main in Idaho. And um, I went to Nashville, the market, with Maggie. And so I went, and it's a cash and carry for, for wholesalers. And you basically go and buy swag from designers and stuff it's pretty cool um so I'm going to kind of share a little bit about how that went and we both have haul <laughs> so I have haul from when I was at market and then I came home and we had our market release party yesterday which was the 11th and I bought more stuff yep and, and I didn't get stuff. to see what they got yeah she, it's all been so at I my house <laughs> yeah it's it all like torture yes it was torture yes I'm sorry to wait I had <laughs> No, it's okay. Yeah. So, so good. it would have been dangerous for me to be there. Yes. Yes. It's the intense. The you answer have to is like yes. explain the intensity of market. It's like how many floors? So, it takes place at the um Embassy Suites Marriott in Cool Springs. So, if you were to Google that, you'll see the inside or if you look um on the hashtag on Instagram for Nashville Needlework Market 2023. You will see top videos or videos. Um, I posted one of like the inside of the hotel. It's basically like the. Hotel. 
it's basically like the the rooms are on the outside mm -hmm. and then the inside is like cent the, the center part is all, all open it's all open down to the atrium and then the ceiling is glass so it's like a giant window um like a greenhouse it's kind of cool so if you're standing outside of your room you can see across to all of the rooms yes. on the other side of the hotel exactly yeah okay yeah. I gotcha and um I'm not afraid of heights but being on the because we were on the eighth floor this year last year we we're on the ninth floor and you you get that tingle feeling when you're looking down because it you feel like an ant can't do it <laughs> I was like uh no it. anyway so yes yeah, so here's a little bit of market stuff um so Maggie and I flew out to Nashville on Thursday. Again with the dates, right? I don't know. Third? Second? Second. Second. Yeah. So we flew out on Thursday the second. Um we met um Terry. Oh, market release hall will be later in the video. Just so you know. <laughs> Cause yeah. <laughs> um, Terry, I met Terry from uh, the Stitcher Soul in New York. She is a uh, shop as well, um, and she's in New York, um, and she had her helper die. I also met Donna Olson from Satin Stitches, and basically what she's, she's exclusively a hard danger, um, and you'll see more of that later, because apparently I need another hobby. Mm, mm hmm Hard yeah. is fun. I, I, it's terrifying. It's I'm not. I, I. Do you know how? Mm -hmm. We need to talk. <laughs> because I'll teach you quilting, you teach me hard danger. It's fine. Okay. Um, a Friday, um, I met um, the mastermind behind Dames of the Needle, Elizabeth. Mm. Um, she's the owner. And then I met her helpers, Jan and Betsy, and a few of her other helpers. I met her daughter. That was really cool. Um, like Kindred Spirit, right? Um I also met Lisa Smith of Kindred Stitcher. Uh, we waited in line outside of Paulette Stewart's room, so that was fun. Wow, um, very cool. Yeah, so we were just, well, and you know, I saw her around other parts of the time, and you know, we waved hi, whatever. She's been in our shop before. Has she? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you and Frank were like in the back, like doing stickers on product. <gasps> oh, she was doing a video. She was doing a video. Oh, dang. Yeah. I missed it. You did. It was, but yeah, and then I think she was, she was in and out really quick, so but she, I don't know, she bought stuff. I don't know. Anyways, it was a couple months ago. And then um, I also met Michelle Rudy from, fi um, I was going to say finally a farm girl. That's oh. not right. <laughs> it's uh, Farm Girl Dry Goods, who she was just a YouTuber, like a floss tuber, but now she has an online store. That's really cool. Yeah, and she does a lot of, like, kits and things like that. Like, so she has, like, pre-orders just like everybody else. But it was cool to finally meet her because I've talked to her like through Instagram or I used to be her patron. I'm not a patron anymore because yeah. Um, it's expensive. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of reasons why, but I just stopped being a patron. So, but I've talked to her. I've talked to, uh, I've talked to her for like on obviously floss tube, things like that. So like she knew who I was, I think, I think she remembers <laughs> who I was. If she doesn't, that's cool too. We, we met, it's weird when you talk to somebody that you watch on floss tube and yes. they don't know who you are. Right, right. Because you like, feel like you know them personally. Yeah. I'm like, because like, you, you, you're yeah. sharing yourself. So then you're like, oh my God, I totally know you. And they're like, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Actually, that happened also that I just remembered another person I met. I met Kenny Stitches from Floss Tube. And he was there as a helper for Meridian Designs. Mm. And he was downstairs stitching. And I was like, wait, I know you. I'm like, you're Kenny Stitches, right? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I swear, I'm not a stalker. I'm just, I watch you. I, I subscribe, you know? Yeah, like, seriously. But it was like, I think he was kind of taken back a, a little bit. Maybe he doesn't realize people recognize him from the videos or something? Well, I think if I had seen him on the street, I probably wouldn't have recognized him. But we were at a trade show for Cross Stitch, so it kind of went together. Yeah. I don't know. Um... Yeah, so then I also met Pam of Three Stitches out of Spring, Texas. She's a shop owner. She's been in business a long time. And her helper, Becky, who is also a kindred spirit. I think if we got together, there would be shenanigans, like mm -hmm. the three of us, uh -huh. if we all got together. <laughs> Let's um, do it. Yeah. And I also met Franny Ritter of Franny Ritter Designs and all of her helpers. Um, her husband, Don, 
helpers Mark and Carolina, Bart and Amanda. And Look at all were, your notes. I, I'm so impressed. I had I'm so impressed. I had to write it. I'm not I'm gonna, so impressed. I had to write it before it went out of my brain, mm -hmm. right? Um, but what's amazing about Franny Ritter is that they're from my hometown. Oh, yeah. And kidding. they still live there. And we know the same people. It's so weird. And I'm like, small world. Yeah. I was like, we're friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then that was Friday. And then Saturday, I met Jordan and Jamie of Little Stitch Girl. Mm, they're sweet. Like, I don't know what happened, but last year we didn't go in their room. So I didn't, I've, I've talked to them through like virtual market, like expo. Oh. But I've never actually spoken to them in person because it's a totally different experience, in my opinion. Like, you're not, you're not getting to like, friends you know like you're like hi like through a computer so <laughs> yes, you're, it's yeah. different experience and <clears throat> yeah so I also met Athena of Stitching Goddess Designs and um we one of my best friends Nina um I made her jealous because I took a picture and sent it to oh. her <laughs> I was like hey let's make Nina super jealous and she's mm -hmm. like oh yeah Nina I know who that is and I'm like I know you do <laughs> that's how does she know Nina because she buys sh shirts from her Oh, I got and you. Okay. Because of okay. frog warts, which also yes. that in the lost footage of whips, all of my frog warts was in that. We'll feature it again in another yeah. video. Yeah, when I work on it again. It's on my whip go, so you'll see it. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Again. I also met, well, I didn't meet, but I met again Annie of Dirty Annie Southern Style, and I freaking love that woman so much. <laughs> I love her. I got, we did the running man together in her room. Wow. To get it on video? I did it because I was, I was running Manning too, you know? I was, you know, <sighs> I gotcha. And Maggie's just standing there going, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, I love and it. And she's wearing a Maggie's on main shirt. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I have to claim her. I love that. It was fun. We it. had fun times. Um, obviously I already knew Beth Twist from previous times. Um, Kathy and Bill Haberman of Hands On Design, um, Susan of Sweet Wing Studio. She's the sweetest person in the world. You need to look up her charts because They're if, if you're a person of faith, um, Christianity, she puts a lot of her. There's a lot of just a lot of scripture. Scripture, which I love, and they're love. done very well, mm -hmm. and they're very pretty, and they're not. There sometimes when you have cross stitch that have scripture sometimes it can feel very old school and I mean that I'm not meaning that in a bad way I'm just saying like it can feel kind of like just like old school like a sampler or something like that she does she has a more modern take in my opinion mm -hmm. a little bit yeah so like for the younger person or even the older person who likes more modern things yeah um, she it's, just it's not it. very sampler-esque oh no we have all of our stuff around. It's okay. And the thing just fell off. It's totally fine. Yeah. Magnets, It'll be fine. magnets and washers. We don't talk it's, about it. No, I'm just kidding. I've been fighting with this thing for like ever. Anyway, anyway. you'll see later. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's so good. that was Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Um, Sunday was kind of a weird day because we pretty much finished all of our shopping on Saturday. So Sunday was more of like, oh, we're going to... Um, trying to do some data entry and get so caught up on some of that we didn't make a lot of headway <laughs> um but then it was it's so much work yeah it's it was so it work. was more like oh I'm going to like kind of walk around and talk to people we went into the Valdani room um which I'll talk about later um we we just kind of I walked around a lot and talked to people That's I met so cool. I met Helen D uh on floss tube I met her she was in uh Barbie pedal pushers room so I got to talk to her and Barbie a little bit on Sunday I just totally just sat down on the couch was like how's it going guys and they're just, just like chilling who are you because <laughs> I I had run out of my Maggie shirts by then so I was just wearing oh. a regular <laughs> shirt and they're like who is this I'm like I have my tag I'm a buyer I'm right. supposed to be here I'm not some <laughs> weird stalker person um so any whoosies um so that's how that's how that was um most of the day um Kind of popped in, talked to Cheryl from Tiny Modernist, um, and told her that I had plans to go downstairs and stitch in a little bit. And she's like, oh my gosh, that sounds like fun. So I'm going to just say that, like, Canadians are the nicest people. They really, yeah. <laughs> like, she's so sweet. And her husband, I didn't catch his name, so I feel like a jerk. But, like, <clears throat> they came down and they had their, because 
the hotel has like a, a happy hour like every night and they usually have like bar snacks and you get drinks if you're um if you're part of the hotel like if you have a, a hotel room that's you, really cool yeah so mm, it's kind of interesting to see how <laughs> like many people are like queuing up for the the bar but um oh <laughs> <laughs> it's funny but anyways um so somewhere. yeah exactly so they came <laughs> and they sat down with us and had their drinks like you know a little bit of happy hour with us um it was me maggie um jenny of shanty stitcher and her husband which he was really funny but i i couldn't remember his name i'm so sorry but he was really sweet um and then also Terry from New York, which I mentioned before, and Donna Olson of Satin Stitches. She was there. I pretty much ate dinner with Donna every night mm. we were there. Wow. Yeah. So that was really cool. That she was the really... sweetest. She's turning 80 this year. And I'm like, you're a whippersnapper. Like, Seriously. I want to be that when I'm 80. Seriously. Like, have that much energy. And she and... came by herself and set up and did all her stuff by herself. I'm like, that's amazing. So anyway, so <clears throat> Cheryl and her husband of Tiny Modernist, they came. We had some drinks, even though I had Coke, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then they went because they had plans with other people, so then they left. And then Judy like Whitman. Hobnobbing, hobnobbing with all of the yeah. elites. It was pretty cool. Yeah, well, I don't know. Elites, that's kind of a weird word. I mean, because they're just people, right? Well, yeah, but. They're talented know. people. Talented people. <laughs> You're talented. You'll see. She's going to show you something, and you'll see it. Oh, wow. Talent, this one. Um, okay, so um, I also met, uh, <clears throat> not met, but, like, hung out and ate dinner with on Sunday night, Judy Whitman of JBW <laughs> Designs and Dawn Frisk of Mindful Needle. Um, I have notes. That's why I'm looking down. I know. She's um, great. So, and it was, like, the coolest thing because I, I've been in their rooms, right? Like, I bought charts from them, obviously, which you'll see later. You'll see. Mm -hmm. Um so I, you know, I know who she is. I've talked to her many times, um, in person and on like, you know, virtual market and stuff, but, um, to actually get to talk to her and then she's talking to me and wanting to know more about who I am. And it was just really cool, like to get to talk to someone of that caliber. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I consider her to be like high caliber, mm -hmm. like class hundred percent. And obviously so is Dawn. Um, she's sweet. She has really great patterns. The Mindful Needle, you should check her out because um, she has really great patterns. And she works um, in the same room as Judy the past two years. Last year was her first year. So. Oh, they had a sh they shared a room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how it is at Market. Sometimes um, some designers will share a room because they have to pay to be there as an, as an exhibitor. So right, right. They have to pay for that. So they are sharing costs with other designers, especially if they're just newer or they're not as a big, a big designer, like the Paulette Stewart's, right. Who obviously need their own room. Um, they, they have to share it or they want to share it. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So I was looking at some of the footage and if you guys are on Instagram or, um, Facebook or whatever, where a lot of these designers were posting their own videos of their displays and mm -hmm. stuff it looks like from <clears throat> the outside of the room that there's like a big window it is that looks into their almost like a suite it's I guess? a suite yeah okay, so it's really it's really cool because they'll do like these whole and the rooms are inside yeah and so the windows mm -hmm. are facing like the belt like the walkway yeah it's so it's kind of hard to they, explain but you walk past their room and there's this big display window yeah and it's got all these beautiful and some like, of them like they go all out cow. and it's a theme like it's so cool the one that comes to mind is uh jody of sam Su sam suda street she had a really good display so did um amanda may of art of designs <clears throat> like effort right mm -hmm. so much effort so um i felt like market went really well i was a lot more prepared this year you know, because last year was like, what? You know, like, what am I doing? Um, I mean, even though I had done Expo, it's a totally different beast um, going to market. So I felt like this year was a lot more, um, I was a lot more prepared. That's awesome. I used my spreadsheet more. <laughs> so <laughs> that helped a lot because that kept me on track. And out of the whole weekend, I only made two mistakes. So I think that's fair. That's pretty cool. I think I'm, yay me. Yeah. <laughs> Gold star. Yeah. 
So, okay. So that's all I got for market, like as far as experience. Um, oh, that's I also so cool. met Leanne from, her name's Leanne, right? There's so many names that I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Leanne, I said it right. Uh, of 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. <gasps> oh. So I'm going to just say that that woman is the sweetest. Again, Canadian. So, yeah. <laughs> and she was in a full, like, reproduction gown hoop <gasps> skirt thing. Like, from the 1800s. Oh, my gosh. And she had, like, so the cool. crinoline. And she had, like... I guess she lives in a, a place where it's a, a historical community, so they all are dressed up all the time. That is really cool. I could totally get down with and that. And I was like, That's I really cool. just love everything about her. She's just so sweet. And she was sitting there. like she. I, I think it was knitting. I don't know. I suck at the whole like yarn craft <laughs> thing. Um, I don't know exactly what she was doing, but she had like, she could have been tatting. I don't know. Anyway, so she was, <laughs> she had all her stuff and like it just, it, she just, it was perfection. Love it. it I, and she was the sweetest person. And I just, I just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just wanted to do this to everybody. <laughs> yeah. And it was, I think one of the funniest parts was that I made, um, Bill of Hands on Design. I made him be in the picture. Oh, <laughs> how did he feel about that? He's like, fine. Yeah. I'm like you're part of this now. Yeah, seriously. You're part of this. Like you're in the videos. Like you're in the floss tubes. Yeah. You're, you're part of this He's now, sir. Part of it. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. And I had a good time. And he's a good sport, too. Yeah. And he's... And he's I'm, such a good sport on her videos. If they they're, did... They're so good. <laughs> like, a side tangent channel of just him cooking dinner while she's talking about cross-stitch, which is sometimes what their floss tubes are. Is he's in the background cooking. Yeah. yeah. He's cooking their meals. Yeah. And I'm like, that's amazing. That, I love that. Food and cross-stitch. I mean, hand in hand, right? Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. So, so that's market. It was, it was a great experience. Um tiring um a lot of I'm, I'm glad that that part of it is over I would say yeah that's an understatement yeah because now I have to start talking about shop hop which is you'll hear more of that mm -hmm. word come out of my mouth shop hop. for the next couple months so yeah yeah so that's all I got for market though so what do you want to talk about now um you got finishes right <clears throat> yeah whips and finishes so I it's been a really busy couple weeks for me too so I haven't um done any real she's been running the store while we were gone well frank's there too yeah but so but yeah you were they there were gone um yeah frank and i ran the store right which is awesome um but it also means that i'm i wasn't getting a whole lot of stitching <laughs> she's tired and she's also like making her bags in the evening yeah which is what you were doing right? exactly so yeah i i would usually come home at like you know six o'clock at night and i'd help my husband feed the you know kids, the kids and be done with that and then by the time I got finished it was like eight o'clock and I'm ready to just collapse but I'm like well I gotta go up and sew because I had orders to fill and so um yes. I'd usually go upstairs <clears throat> and work in my up here in my yeah. sewing room for probably another two three hours <clears throat> and so yeah it makes for a long week so there was no stitching done for me so she has whips and I brought a couple of um finishes so, so how about I do a whip you do a finish kind of thing yeah we can't I don't yeah. know yeah that's that fine. way I'm not just sitting many... there blabbing the whole time <clears throat> oh stop how many <clears throat> um whips do you have do you know I don't know they're in my basket all right so I use book of days to track my oh, stuff oh, there you go yeah I'm sorry what? didn't mean to interrupt what no just reminded me something oh uh, okay <laughs> um this is how I track what I do um this is my march so far um I have star wars because cute Micah was like mom you need the sticker I'm like you're right I do yeah so I put it on it's awesome um so this is basically how I know what I worked on and when I have to go back to but what I, I mark on here when our last floss tube was so I don't say oh yeah this is what I worked on but I didn't because it was fr you know what I mean oh yeah from yeah. the last floss tube mm -hmm. so from the last floss tube I worked on garden cat by that's the wrong bag hold on <laughs> sorry so it's by jody of sam Street. street so oh, you see there um so that's the pattern um and i have threads all over because i park my threads oh so oh you're a parker 
I do. So I, I did a lot. I finished the rest of this and I did this and I think I did this from the last time. I just love those colors. Yeah. It is the cutest. But I started so doing this flower there. That's sorry about I, the glare. Yeah, sorry about the glare. I started doing this flower here. So that's that was that whip. Um, I'm using 32 count Murano Curry by in the color Ice. It's a Zweigart product, which I learned more about that while I was at market. So that was cool. Um, so what'd yeah. you learn? That's a great alternative to. Um, it's a good like. It's not Lugana, obviously. It's Murano Curry or however. Oh 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 oh. But right right right. It's it's an saying. even weave. That's a good alternative if you're wanting something different. Mm -hmm. So, and it's really soft. It's soft. It's a really soft. It's soft. So, I mean, it, to me, it doesn't really matter because it's going in a Q snap anyways, but this way it's like, like I like the feel. Yeah. It's, it's not shredding my thread, which is nice. So, um, I'm working anyway. on one currently that is shredding my thread. Yeah. You might need to change your needle. It's not the needle. It's the, um, it's the fabric. Oh, it's the fabric. It's um, it's an opal. Uh, opalescent. It's an opalescent, and so it's got those tiny like metallic threads. metallic fibers in there, and so it over time it literally shreds your thread, and so I'll be stitching, and all of a sudden my thread will break, and so I'm just working with shorter strands. So, so I also on this same day because apparently I worked on two things on, in one day. Oh, cool. Oh, this got smashed a little bit. It's okay. Um, this is a button to beads kit oh, called yes. Citrus. And this bag was made by my friend Risa for me. She does such good work. Yeah. I love her. And um, this is from the Zippy bag, but she totally just modified everything and changed She did. It, yeah, changed I love everything. it. She, but she wanted to use all the pieces. All the pieces. So she did. Wow. Yeah. I mean, She's very talented. She is talented. a really talented quilter. Let's see. So then, um, I forgot the board. That's the one thing I forgot. Uh, oh, of two things, I forgot yeah. the board. So it's cool. I'll just do this. That'll work. Yeah. So I just filled in more of this. Because, you know, when I write it down that I worked on it, that could be like 10 stitches. So anyways, that's that one. Um, so that's what I worked on that day. Cool. I'm <laughs> saying Sam Suda Street, but it's, what is it? Satsuma Street. It's Sunday. It, we're both tired. Yeah. Satsu Satsuma Street. Satsuma Street. <laughs> wow. It's totally fine. I'm with the program. It's all right. Did I say that even when I was talking about market too? Probably. I think so. It's Sorry, my it's bad. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You're picking up when I'm throwing down. Yeah. Okay, your turn. And we love it because um, <laughs> she's going to be at Sith West. West. Yeah. So oh, yeah. So while I was at market, I totally... Um, FaceTime my sister. I asked her first. I asked J Jody first if I could FaceTime my sister, who obviously wasn't at market. I FaceTimed my sister and I was like, hey Kim, guess where I'm at? She's like, what? I'm like, I'm in Jody Race's room. She's like, <gasps> and I was like, I know. Oh, Look, check so all this cool. out. And she's like, oh my God, I love that. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God, I love that. I'm like, I know. I want all the things. It's a problem. We all need it all. Things. All the things. Yes. So I'm okay. your turn. I'd have to mortgage my whole house. <laughs> to, <laughs> to, I know to buy all the things. It's a good problem. So, yeah, you have. we could have worse problems. Well, yeah, I you know what I mean. It's true. Yeah, know what I mean, Jolly Bean. Yep, I do. Your okay. turn. So um, I have a finish, and um, it's a little bit of an older finish, but um, it's also kind of a work in progress, I guess, if you can say that. So um, I'm working on the. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks. Show that one first. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Yeah. This is the part, this is the thing that kind that of fell off. Fell. So. Okay, so when you finish, sometimes you're using glue, and sometimes the glue doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so anyway, well, and this is ruining the whole effect here. It's okay. Here, I'll hold this. You put up the thing. Okay. So anyway, so this is um, Country Cottage Needleworks, and normally this really pretty. Here, show your little bouquet. And they're the sampler of the month. Okay. So here. It Sorry. normally go, is going like that, really cute like. Okay, so this magnet's on here, right? So this is July. So she can change it out. And so then what I do is this comes off, this little flower bouquet part comes off, and then this comes off. I actually kind of <gasps> I put a little bit of a Velcro. She, you're amazing. A little bit of Velcro, and then it's on here. And this frame here I got at Hobby Lobby. 
And then I just cut out this shape in cardstock and I mounted my finish on the cardstock and in this shape. And then I stuck this little piece of Velcro on here. That's really cute. And so then that goes there. And then <clears throat> I have another one. And so here's June. And so then June. That's adorbs. Just kind of pops in Can there. Can you be my finisher? Uh-huh. Okay. And then wait, hold on. Oh, there's more. Wait, there's more. Oh yeah, you have to add the thing. Oh, see, all the, it's all different color. It's, yeah, it's all color. That's so cute. It's all color coordinated. Look at that. And so <clears throat> that's June. And then I'm currently working on, um, so I actually, what is, this is, this is the sampler of the month by Country, Country Cottage, Cottage Needleworks. Um, I knew that, but yeah. I'm like, which one so is it? So they'll all finish similarly. And so what I did was I chose the color, see the house color is yellow with a blue door. So they'll all have coordinating the, coordinating so this is the yellow with the blue door basically and then i picked flowers that kind of matched how cute so and then um Here. i thought this one was finished this is september it's almost fin is it almost finished yeah i thought it was done and, and i realized um when i pulled it out that i've got um there's these green books and then the green leaves on these apples here that apparently i forgot Oh, well, that's a quick... So I thought September was done. That's a quick finish. And then I've also started August. And so here's the start on August. Cute. And these are all stitched on 32 count vintage country mocha. They're all the same. And so I just bought, I think I bought like a fat half of the... And that just hangs on your wall? And it just, yeah, it just hangs. It's got a loop on it and came with the loop. And so then it just, it just hangs. Really cute. So that one's that one was really fun. I when I found that frame at Hobby Lobby, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I'm doing with it. And so, yep. <clears throat> so I think what I'll probably do now for our next my next um, whip is I'll probably pull out and start like April, mm. April mm -hmm. or May, so that I can get because you have June, July, and S September, and then August is almost start is started. <laughs> Apparently, okay. I started and I didn't get very far. Okay. So anyway, there's that. Okay. So my next whip, this is a secret stitch. So if my husband is watching this, fast forward like 10 oh. minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry, I have like orts in here because I took this with me to Nashville. Oh, so cool. So this, like when you're on a plane, sometimes you have nowhere to put stuff. So it ended up back, <laughs> or it ended up back in my bag. <laughs> don't worry, Jeanette, I'll throw it away. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. Hey, I vacuumed before you came, so don't. Hey, I vacuum when you, you come over. You should have seen the floor. So, because I sew in here and I do thread finishes in here. There are th threads everywhere. Okay, so this uh, this one is called Yondu Poppins by White Raven Patterns on Etsy, um, and this is a Guardians of the Galaxy nod. Mm -hmm. Mary Poppins, y'all. I know that's amazing. So basically, last time what I I all I had was like hit part of his coat and his um here let's do this there we go i had last time i had just part of his coat and part of his leg so i finished the leg and then i finished his foot so i finished that much obviously i didn't get a lot of stitching done at market because i think this is all i took three pa three patterns with me and i only worked on this one and that's all I got. You done. had no time. I had no time. And I was also just tired, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I was like, hey. Because, I mean, we were we were working, like, Saturday. We were up until 1130. Like, getting everything, like, trying to make sure everything fit in the the suitcases. Doing Tetris in there. Well, yeah, it was literally, <laughs> it was Tetris in there. Um, But it was to see if we needed to ship. Because if we needed to ship product, we had to arrange to get that done the yes. next day. Yes. So... We were trying to see what we needed to do and if we were going to be over our limit with weight and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I did that. That's that one. Sorry, I have to look at my books. I don't remember. Okay. So, my whip go. Um, we didn't... Last time, we didn't talk about our plants. Oh. We were going to and then we just didn't. <laughs> we forgot. It's okay. We're still new. So, I... Uh, one of my whip go pulls is a whip called... It's a Dimensions Gold Petite... And it's called Geisha Beauty. You talked about her last time. No, I didn't. Yeah, I remember. Because she was so pretty. I said she's so pretty. No, that was the first one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. No worries. Okay, so this is where this is where I am. Like this is what it is gonna look like when I'm done. And this is where I'm at. <gasps> wow. So 
Look at her face. Yeah, so She's pretty much what I did was is I filled in the rest of her light colored skin color here. And then I started, what else did I do? Then there was like a shading color along her hair that I that she's goes really all the way down. Yeah, she's it goes really all the way down here. So, um, I have this is my back. It looks like a hot mess. It's there actually, are not, there's knots. Don't look too close. And I do carry my threads on certain things. If it's full coverage and you're not gonna see it, I don't care. Yeah. Um, I am not white glove. Okay. Why not? Not Nobody's like ever gonna see the no, back. It's gonna be finished and framed. Who cares? Yeah. As long as you can't see it, then who? It doesn't matter. So anyway, so that's where it's at now. That's current progress. And I actually finished my whip go, that whip go call last night because I worked on it last night while we were watching Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> really, really good collaborative situation. Sons of Anarchy and Cross Stitch. Yeah. And this really pretty, like, <laughs> yeah. do you have any more finishes? Um, I... If did, not, then I'll just finish. I mean, I have finishes. Uh, That's I actually, a finish. Well, the, okay, this is a finish. So, when, before when I said she had talent, this is what I'm referring to. And you're dinging again. Oh. You're always dinging. T told me to read my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I did that before I came. <laughs> you're a sinner. I'm sorry. Aren't we all? I'll do better next time. I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> totally fine. It was reminding me. So anyway, uh, one of our good friends from um, from the store. She's a Shanda. regular shopper. Shanda. She has her own floss tube also. Stitching in Idaho. Stitching in Idaho. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. She came in a few weeks ago with these project rolls. Actually, a project roll mm -hmm. that she had seen on Von, one of Vonna Pfeiffer's videos. Mm -hmm. So Vonna Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? We can't speak today. Vonna Words Pfeiffer, are her. <laughs> she had a really good tutorial on how to make a project roll. So if you've got um, cross stitch finishes that are all done that aren't framed, but you don't want them to be all wrinkled and folded in a bag, mm -hmm. she makes these. So these are oh, here. I'll I'll here. do this. <laughs> so anyway, hey, she did. I did that to you last time. <laughs> it's all good. We're all friends here. Yeah. So anyway, so Vonna Pfeiffer's video is awesome, um, and I said I need to make those because I have a ton of cross stitch finishes that are not ready for framing framing yet. And I'm like, what am I doing with these things? And so I watched her video and I put together one of these. But the alteration you made though was that you have a binding. Right, because oh, because Vonna Pfeiffer, her you her her tutorial is just a stitch and flip. This yes. has a binding on it. I did do a binding, so that's the one difference. Yeah, and so um, you can make them. You know, her video's great. It's a free tutorial, um, and so shout yeah, out to so Vonna. Yeah, so make sure you, Vonna, you're amazing. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to her channel and support her. Yeah, she's great. Anyway, so um, basically, it just unrolls. Oh, oh, there's one <laughs> stuck. Um, oh, and there it goes. This is cute. I might have to steal yeah, this. Yeah, that's uh, Cherry Hill by Country Cottage New Works. Adorbs. And it's stitched on a really old piece of e even weave. I have a, I met this really sweet lady uh, years and years ago on Instagram and she was a local and she was a cross stitcher. Um, I think she had had a store at one time. Um, Sorry. <laughs> she'd had a store at one time and she was unloading a lot of her stash. And so she and I just kind of became friends and chatted, but she was moving and she didn't want to take a lot of it with her. So she gave me a whole box of these small, they were like nine by nine pieces of fabric. And There's silk. amazing finishes in here, you guys. So anyway, okay, so this one, this is Cherry Hill Yeah. by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. Cute. And I apologize. It's on 28 count even weave, but I apologize. I don't know what the color is. Like I said, it was, it was from, from a stash, stash, right? Yeah. Lizzie Kate. And so this is a Lizzie Kate. Didn't we just talk about this? Um, Are we just talking about this? I think so. This is Lizzie Kate, and it's um, autumn. It's actually spring, summer, and autumn smalls, and then obviously the bottom part is left for winter, which I haven't stitched yet. And this is on a uh, twenty-eight count um, even weave, and it's um, a coffee tea dyed it myself. It was just a. I think it was. It might even actually be a piece of monocle. Here, let's put this down so that way you can sh yeah. show. <laughs> I know, right? Here. So I think this was a uh, monaco that I picked up at like Hobby Lobby or something. And so um, so there's spring, summer, and autumn, and then the bottom part is for winter, which I will do uh, this summer. 
cute. So there's that one. I love this. And so, much. so this one is Little House Needleworks, um, and it's called Heart of America. You want to talk so, while I, I can... Oh, yeah, there you go. So that's Heart of America by uh, Little House Needleworks, and it came as a thread pack. It was a kit originally, um, and it came with the Jabco buttons. Really? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you can buy it now as just the pattern, but I think originally... I think I have this pattern in my stash. The pattern was just the... was a kit. It was a kit. Not with the fabric, but it came with the floss and the buttons. I have FOMO. I love that chart. I really enjoyed working I on that this. one a ton. Okay. I worked on that one that a ton. Pretty. So that one's really pretty. So there's that one. And oh. then <laughs> this is a uh, Lizzie Kate um, six, shoot, oh, six snow bells. Sorry. It was Lizzie Kate six snow bells. And it's, um, uh, you can kind of see that it's opalescent. Yeah. It's a raw opalescent, uh, linen. 30, 32 count raw opalescent linen. Cute. And um, it came with the little buttons. What and then I th that? think, did I add beads on here too? I did, I added a few. So I like to add the little extra. Oh, is it too close? Oh, sorry. there you go. That's okay. So I did add a few little beads in here. And I think- It looks like, it looks like really heavy wet snow. Yeah, it's really, it, that one was really fun. You yeah. stitch all the fun things. I, I feel like I am was a I still am a huge Lizzie Kate fan and so I was crushed when she retired. retired. Um but I still stitch a ton of her stuff and she still does releases every now and again, but you can only get her patterns on one, one two, two three, three stitch. stitch. Yeah. I have um I have a I have a, I have a finish. Stuff. I'll bring it next time. Next time we have a video, I'll show my Lizzie Kate finish. Awesome. I would love it. This now this so, one's special. This one's really special. So my daughter, Kylie um, who just turned 21, uh, in January. Um, can I show it now? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. go ahead. So she cross stitches too. And I taught her a few years ago and she loves to cross stitch. She is also a huge video game nerd. She loves Mario. And she's a gamer. She's a gamer. She's a gamer. Guys. She's a gamer. And so this one, and I wrote it down. Um, this was a chart that came off of Etsy and it's Super Mario Brothers Yoshi's Island Icons, I think is what the chart is called. And she stitched it on 28 count Monaco. Um, but yeah, look at all these little guys. I had to show it. I was so proud of her for finishing um, that I had to I had to share. I asked her if I could. I'm like, I, I swear I won't take it home. <laughs> but I promised Kylie, her. Kylie, don't come for me. Right. <laughs> I promised her if she finished it, I would frame it. And so we'll get it, we're going to get it framed for That's her. That's awesome. But I was just, I was so proud of her. Look at all that. I love it. And what a fun, what a fun stitch. She yeah. stitched all the black first. So before she did any of the fun. That's like almost full coverage. Yeah. That's a lot of stitching. It is a lot of stitching, but she did everything that's black. Because I think probably these are what, 400 stitches or 200 stitches Something square. Something like that. Or, yeah, no, I think they are. A like a square, like square stitch amount, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, so um, I'm trying to think of how long it took her to make that. Um, so all that to say, she had a finish of a project <laughs> roll. <laughs> project roll. <laughs> but then I had to, I guess I had to share all the... All the oh, cute stuff. I do have one more thing. I know I'm talking too much. No, sorry. no, you're not. So I'm usually the one that's gabbing, so please. <laughs> so last time we were talking about how we organize our projects. And so I usually have that, um, the cross-stitch book. Um, shoot, what's that called? It's the uh, Riley Blake. No, it's um, it's by It's So Emma. Oh, It's So I, Emma. That's Sorry. the that's the other thing. I forgot three things. Um, uh -huh. I forgot my other Whip Go Whip and that book that oh, has okay. all the information. It's by It's So Emma. It's like a teal colored spiral bound book. Yeah, and it's just got the cross stitch in it. journal. Yeah. So yeah. long before that was even a thing, years and years and years ago, almost before dirt was invented. Um, I didn't have that kind of an organized thing. So I came up with this. So this is just a, <laughs> so this is just a, um, like an index card box. And so what I have in here is just these little, if you can see You're them. organized. So there's these little tabs. And so I had all of my projects organized by um, designer. So all the little tabs are letters. And then um, I had in the back, um, new starts, finishes, and then FFOs. And so as I would finish, I would put the card in there. So like, here's this one here. I don't know what this one says. 
Oh, seasonal celebrations, autumn by Country Cottage Needle Works. And then I put when I started, when I finished, when I made it an FFO. I like that idea. And then um, what I stitched it on. And if I used any, if I did any modifications or anything like that, and I just kind of made notes for myself. And so this is how I organized my projects. And I still do. Um, and so then they're all in there together. I like the spiral bound notebook though. It's more portable. It's more portable, but this is kind of limitless, like size wise, because she also has a bunch of empty cards in here. Mm -hmm. So those could be taken out and you could fill this up mm -hmm. and, and this could be out. like your life's work. Kind of. Yeah. So to be honest, it's been a while since I've actually updated my box. And so I've got a lot of projects that I still should add. You've been busy. In here. And it doesn't count any of my sewing things. Yeah, just, I yeah, because I have quilting things separate mm -hmm. than my cross stitch. This is just cross stitch. Yeah, so. I do that too. Okay, I'm all done talking. No, you're not. <laughs> Your turn. You're definitely not done talking because uh, okay. you have Paul. So. Oh. Okay, so I have two more whips that I worked on in this like two week span. One of them is um, his name is his name is Jesus by Joyful Expressions. This is a free chart you get when you sign up for their newsletter. This is what it looks like, and you can choose whatever colors you want um, when you're doing your stitch. I have mine. I need to get going on it. So these are my threads. This was a restart because I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It was really bad. So it's fine. I fixed it and I have some good progress. Oh, wow. So the last time I, I worked on it twice since the last video. No, once. Twice. I don't know. I think one day I just sat down and stitched and my That's kids really were like off playing and there was no screaming. Me time. And I just, I just sat there and stitched. So I got the H done for his oh, name. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> his name is Jesus. There you go. And I forgot my book of um, my cross stitch journal of what this is. I'm pretty sure it's Fawn by Picture This Plus. Um, oh. 32 count linen. And then these are the threads I'm using, which they're kind of sort of blown out a little bit. Oh, that's not is that too, okay? Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. So I'm using um, Weeks Dye Works Ultraviolet. That's the purple. Um, Weeks Dye Works Bethlehem which is the center H, like his name is Jesus, will all be in the color Bethlehem. Um, Gentle Art Deep Sea, which is this teal blue color. And then Water Lily, Karen Water Lily's Spearmint, number 257. The colors are so pretty. So, I love that. Whoop. <laughs> Oops, my bad. It's okay. So that's- um, I'm sure that's, it was very nice. Yes, yes, very good. It's a hot mess, but yeah. They, I swear, they're not normally like all ratty tatty. I think it's because I'm on camera. It's well, you've probably also been kind of just you're in a hurry I and threw so you stuff, kind of in throw stuff in there. And so that's that whip, and I will fix that in a second. Right. And then I have a really good project bag. It's called a Ziploc. <laughs> it's great for travel. Hey, those are the most economical, practical project bags. But they're ugly. And I said it. They are readily available. All right. So this one is a work stitch. Oh, dang. I should pull mine out. So this is Little House Needleworks. And this is a Bell Swass, which is country. No. Classic Color Works is um, silk line. It's called Bell Swass. And this is a thread pack that you basically get a skein of Bell Swass. And you get this pattern. And you stitch it. And it's pretty. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. It's a um, monochrome. So yeah. it's just one color. Yes. And this is 36 <gasps> count oh, platinum by Weeks amazing. is the color. And then. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the shaking. We're good. We're good. So that is. Um... <laughs> okay. So I started working on this and I had. I had this flower almost finished. And then I realized I got all the way, like I was stitching like a, like around, you know? Oh no, okay, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I realized I was off by one thread. Oh. Like not one thread, but like one stitch, it was moved over too much. So it wasn't gonna meet up. So I was like, crap. Damn. 
So sometimes I, you can fudge it, and sometimes you could you not fudge this because it would it would throw off the symmetry. The whole thing. So I had to unstitch what I did, and then I <laughs> I started again. So I from the last time I finished all of this, and then I stitched it, and then I unstitched it, and then I stitched this part again. <laughs> Counting's hard. <laughs> Counting's hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so those counting. are all the whips I worked on. I am I, I I'm affected by squirrels. I just go all over the dang place. Sometimes I am monogamous and I just want to stitch on one thing all the time. But usually I'm like, what can I stitch on right now? What do I feel like? Mm -hmm. I have this yeah, basket I that I have kind of like active. Oh yeah, show your basket. I, I have active whips in it. I so, love that. And this fits. I have like a bookshelf that's right by my stitchy spot, and this fits perfectly on the bottom shelf. So I just like pull this out a little bit and go hmm which one do we want to work on which one because these are already loaded onto q snaps i have one too i'll show mine next time yeah i i have it already ready to go so i don't have to think about mm -hmm. it because my stitching time is limited yeah so you know, like you don't want to have to gather all your and and load it and and, and, yeah. and do all the things so that's i didn't where, did, where did i put my fancy project bag did i put it back in here i, I did already <laughs> oops <laughs> It's easy to identify though. Yeah, because it's crinkly. <laughs> Sorry for the crinkles. Okay, so that's all I have for whips. Um, and my plan, I'm just going to say really quick what my plans are. Yeah, I was going to suggest yeah. that actually. My, that's my plans are pretty much just work on whip go. I do have one quilt thing, but it's in pieces currently because mm. I'm in the, I just finished cutting the thing. So last time I showed that giant huge pillow. Is it Calico Garden? No. Oh. Um, the last time I showed the giant bench pillow oh yes so that was april's pillow i started may oh awesome but it's in pieces so Next not time. transportable not so much no not okay so much okay so, okay i do have i have a plan well i, I have you I have, have a plan oh is um, that what you went to grab yes yes sorry and so i may have talked about this last time but you did just in case i did not i'll just kind of uh re refresh I yeah. suppose so I am part of Teresa Kogut's Patreon on Patreon <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think I signed up as a tier four um, which is I think the highest fancy the highest you can you can go yeah. on the tiers and stuff um, and I absolutely that woman I don't know if she ever sleeps I don't think she does she just she's, she's a creative mind and she's amazing. And so she started, um, she had mentioned on one of her more recent posts on Patreon that she, a couple years ago, did a, um, a challenge for herself where she did 365 drawings. So it was a drawing a day for an entire year. Well, there and you so go. And so she pulls from all of these drawings. I Because I'm like, how does she come up with new... I think she mentioned that on a floss tube as well. New new stuff. So anyway... Look at that color palette. Long story short, to make a long story longer, um, <laughs> she's got a stitch along, a mystery stitch along that she is starting on Patreon um, on the 15th. So you have to be a member. So you do have to be a member of Patreon in order to participate in the stitch along. And not everything that she has on Patreon will be released to the general public through releases. So... If, if you're a huge fan of hers, I would suggest being on her Patreon. I highly recommend yeah. it. And she, every month she puts out new charts, um, new releases. Um, she gives us updates on things that are coming up. So we find out about stuff before she releases it to the general public. And yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. Um, but anyway, like I said, she's got a new stitch along that she's starting. So that's your plan. On the 15th. So this is my plan. And so. Um, that's Wednesday. It is. It is indeed. So anyway, this is the color palette and she had a fabric that she chose. Hers was a 40 count. Um, I couldn't get it fast enough and I also am impatient. And so <laughs> you also work at a cross stitch store. I also store. work at a cross stitch and store. You don't have to use the called for. You don't. Like that's one of the things that I, I try and tell customers is that just because the designer chose a specific color doesn't mean you have to use it. Yeah. Feel free to. Because sometimes like choose your own sometimes some fabrics are no longer available mm -hmm. or like a thread type is no longer available like there's some mirabilias that are used with like thread paints or thread color paints or something I don't know. there's a specific color thread dyer person that no longer makes anymore. the threads and 
thread paints. That's mm -hmm. what they're called. Thread paints. Th yes. Thread paints. And you can't get them anymore. So it's like you have to figure out an, an alternative, right? So Yeah, and you don't have to pigeonhole yourself either. Right. You know, it's, it, it, it's an expressive, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, and just because someone says, oh, I'm going to have this call. I stitched the model on 36 count, but you're an Ada stitcher. I had a conversation with a gal yesterday, and she was, like, apologizing for stitching on Ada. Yes. And I'm like, no, do not apologize. Mm -mm. I said, stitch what if, you like. Stitch what is enjoyable for yeah, you. And that's the like. message here is that stitch what you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Stitch what you like to stitch. Stitch on the fabrics you enjoy to stitch on. Mm -hmm. And don't apologize. Yeah for that enjoy it it's supposed yeah. to be fun it's a hobby it's it's a release a for release people. yeah yeah it's and it should be fun relaxing fun exactly. times fun times fun times with cross stitch however if you like stitching exactly what it says don't feel like yeah. you can't do that either yeah so. <laughs> well i mean sometimes sometimes that is just not available like trying to get like butter vintage buttercream by lakeside like you can't get that like that's a unicorn at this point. Mm -hmm. Like people that can somehow like they have it in their stash and they're still able to pull from that stash. Mm -hmm. Like great, that's awesome. But for yeah. people who are just coming to the scene of cross stitch and they're pulling up like an older blackbird or something and it's calling for some R and R reproduction that you can't they get just anymore. don't make anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's like find an alternative. There's plenty of new dyers out there that have similar enough colors that you can make it work and yeah. when you do a, a, a floss toss where you're flossing tossing That's, your floss yep you'll find that you can find alternatives yeah exactly and exactly i did floss tosses last night I loved it. you'll see it's one of my favorite yes i love floss it's anyway, she likes so, kitting i love to kit and then um so yeah that was to make the long story longer yeah we yeah. made it longer Thanks, sorry Thanks. um so anyway, what is this color so this is um uh 36 count beach brew by R&R &R. R &R reproduction. Um, and it's really similar to the color that she picked. Hers was a 40 count. I decided 36 is fine. That 36 is fine. So mine will as be... As long as you have the stitch count, that's the thing too, is just because they say it's like 36 count or 18 count or whatever, mm -hmm. and you want to make it bigger or smaller, as long as you have the stitch count, you can tell like how big a fabric you need. Right, yeah. right. Um, and then I did a couple of color modifications only because at the time... I didn't have them available, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these colors. Oh. And so I had to do a couple of color changes. However, yeah. now we, one of them was Wood Rose, or not, I'm sorry, Antique Rose by Gentle Art. Oh, yeah. And we, we got, got some of those. ton of them in. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I, I have like three charts that I picked need it that up color, and, I... and so I bought like four. Yeah. Don't judge. Did you? Oh, don't judge. And Old Blue Paint. You're fired. Old Blue Paint. <laughs> Sorry. I don't I have the pow I don't have the power to fire her, so it's fine. Well, you know. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to talk about market haul. So if you're not a haul person, thanks for joining. We'll yes, see you thank next you time. very much. Yeah. If you like haul, get a cuppa. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was so fun, you guys. I have to tell you, <laughs> and. The, we did pre-orders through Maggie's on Main, mm -hmm. and so about two we weeks before, as she was getting in stuff from the designers mm -hmm. and notifications of what was coming and going to be available at market, we had... We put it on the website. It was on the website, so we had available, and so I've been shopping. Like sh I say shopping. <laughs> She's like, Cheryl, I need all of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, tell So, yeah. So do I, your pre-order, I guess. I don't know. I... <laughs> filled a cart and I put stuff back and I put stuff back again and don't we all do that like the virtual cart of like like swapping for for this for that yeah and, yeah so and there were so many beautiful offerings charts I mean it's just amazing there's yeah. all so much talent out there from all of these cross-stitch designers and then sharing what they do it was amazing and it was overwhelming so I don't know how they shop because I I'm like just I want all the things. It's hard. Just put everything in it's the It's really, and it's hard to gauge what people will want, right? Because you think, okay, this is going to be the chart that everybody wants, right? And then pre-orders happen, <laughs> and then pre-orders happen, and you're like, oh, it's actually this chart by someone who's brand new that everybody needs mm -hmm. right now. Yep. Yeah. And I'm like, exactly. okay, exactly. like, cool, good for you, you know? So, okay, so you go first for your first part of your, are we going to swap back and forth? Whatever you want to do. Let's just go back and forth. Okay. Because she has a lot of haul. 
I do, and I put stuff back. No judgment here, again. by the way. I know, it's terrible. So, that's another thing, is like, there's, if you hear crows or birds, the window's open. Oh, yes, it is. The window's open. Um, that's a, like a Christmas miracle, like Idaho, in and it's winter. <laughs> We've had the weirdest weather. The weirdest weather. And we're we getting... usually get wacky weather in like February and March anyway, but... It's like false springs. <laughs> like doing... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's false spring right it's... now. Yeah. I don't know what it's doing. So it's what, while she's side. getting out all her stuff, um, sometimes when you do pre-orders with vendors, they give you... They have they have your stuff in a bag and sometimes the bag is really fun and this was dirty annie southern style bag for this year oh, i love it uh-huh exercise i thought you said extra fries yes please <laughs> <laughs> i'll take the extra fries i love her i like fries mm-hmm Yes. yes, I love her. So That's perfect. This is this is one of the bags that. That's Dirty Annie's bag. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And last year's was uh, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition, <laughs> and I turned that one into a project bag. <laughs> this one will probably be turned into a project She's bag. She's so too. good. She's, She's hilarious. So, good. so there was a lot of good stuff. I put a lot of you things go first. back. I'm sure I'm gonna um, probably pick up more. So we have bags. Yeah. If I could show you. It would be like bags with bags and then bags and more bags. You know, and it's really sad because this doesn't look like a lot. But it is. It doesn't look like a lot. There's quite a bit in there. Anyway, so I did buy the Happiness is Homemade Cookbook because... Um, I have that too. I think... Is it Alma Allen? Yes. That has one in here? Yes. So Blackbird Designs has a chart in here uh, along with a bunch, I mean, the whole back. So those are all the contributors to the, um, this is the only way to get this cookbook is if your, your LNS went to market mm -hmm. and they were almost out of them Saturday morning. Wow. So unless you, your shop made a pre-order and were attending market, the likelihood of you getting one of those books was a lot was slimmer. Tough. Yeah. So I'll show you kind of a page. So. You can't there, show the, I can't show the whole thing because there's a lot of patterns in here. Yeah, and but so there's like, patterns all through So I just picked a page. So here's recipes, um, backstory, and then the, the, the other side has a pattern on it. Um, so anyway, it's just a really fun, it's a really fun little book. Did you get one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, there's so, yeah. a dually that's just driving by. Sorry, Diesel. It's our neighbor across the street. Idaho. They're awesome, actually. Yes. Idaho. Yes. <laughs> See, I got one. I got one too. Oh yeah, it's a great book. Actually, they give they give this to you if you're a buyer, like when you check in and register. Oh, they give you they, a book? Gi they give you one of these. Oh, so lucky. I always get it. <laughs> I got last year's too. I did not get last year's. I didn't know about it last year. So now you do. I mean, I didn't know about it either because we opened in 2020 and it was after that market and then pandemic. Right, 2021 there yes. was no market. 2022 was the first year we went so that, that was, was when year. I found out mm -hmm. yeah so I that's anyway, mine so there's my mine. one okay okay so I bought a lot of the exclusives <gasps> so Yay. I went in these are not new um but I want them all because you know this one here she's doing 12 days of Christmas on opalescent fabric and I've been trying to find the perfect 12 days of Christmas situation for a long time. Are you serious right now? I'm serious. I'm not Sam Suda to Street. Like I said it right this Satsuma. time. Satsuma. Sat Satsuma. <laughs> I said it wrong again. I'm dumb. Okay, Satsuma oh my gosh, Street. Cheryl. So it's, this is Partridge and Pear. This is a, uh, an ornament kit that's, you're using perforated, perforated paper. paper. You get all the swag in there, including a needle. Oh my, did you buy all 12? No, cause she only has, she's releasing them each <gasps> year. So this is obviously the first one, cause Partridge Are they still country. available? Yeah. I have FOMO. Yeah, they're totally available. I can get you some. Okay. I got a second one, which is two turtle doves. Oh my gosh, Cheryl, I love these so much. I know. And then this last year's was French head. Look at the French head. Beret. Look, look at the, the beret, the beret. And then this. I know. And then she already has her four calling bird idea. This is a and 12 year series? Yeah. And she's releasing 
for calling birds this year and she's like oh I already have the idea for that I can't wait I'm like I'm like so talking about chomping at the bit that was me in her store I didn't even know that existed now you do I don't like you I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry not sorry right so that was uh one thing that I purchased at market dang it okay I'm kind of like trying to pull the things I bought at market oh good because that's different than yeah. the other stuff okay next okay so Yep, these are by Summer House. Shermer, Summer House. I know, seriously. We can't talk. Summer House Stitch Works. So every year um, they release a new series called Fragments in Time. And so this is the new one for this year. And I really loved the theme of these. Mm -hmm. um, and so I bought um, the first two in that series. Yeah, so, we're and we're doing an auto for that. So yeah, like I, 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 told, I told her, I said, please sign us up. <laughs> make a note make um, a note yeah to, and there's also like another one that's on perforated paper that's a Christmas past is what it's called mm -hmm. and that one is also like a ornament series oh that we got we did mm -hmm. and it has cute little charm things too oh, she loves twar yeah. she loves charms she, yeah I yeah. love charms too and uh Satsuma Street has the a couple new ones on the perforated paper the spring of my jigs spring of my jigs they're yeah. super cute bunnies and eggs and I don't have a um a, a spring tree so my brain was like I only have because my husband says here is a $50 bill that's all you have for market to go shop at market with and I'm like that's a joke right She's like, he's like no that's that's it so you know bills right and being an adult and feeding her children yeah and little league and mortgage mm -hmm. and all those things we have to pay for. adult things so when i picked up heart and hand uh cecilia turner gave me this cute little oh button thing button Can... button <laughs> but <laughs> button it's not working <laughs> it's seeing our faces maybe it's actually cute there we go maybe um so i might i might actually take off the pin and make it into a needle, needle minder. minder yeah because i don't wear pins that would be a really yeah. cute needle minder and this was yeah. a chart this is her new one of her new charts yeah that's a chart yeah and i have okay so this is the the stuff if you did a pre-order with a uh, heartstring samplery this was her bag okay. i belong to cross stitch nation and it's one of those ones that folds up and you can put it in your purse like a reusable bag. I love, I love those kinds of bags mm -hmm. because I'm always needing bags. I'm like a bag lady. Yeah. And I have an issue because I have a, like a million of those. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the grocery store and inevitably I leave them in, in the car. I think you're not alone in that. I try really hard. Okay. Yeah. I care about the environment, but I'm also very absent minded. I got this Franny Ritter. It's called Celtic, or do you say, is it Celtic or Celtic? Celtic, Celtic. Celtic pumpkin. And it well, has a lot of Mill Hill beads in it. It does? Yeah, look. All of these right here are, are beads. Oh. And all my. around. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. So like I got Krennic this. too? No Krennic. Mm, no Krennic. Okay. It looks it's sparkly. just. It's sparkly. It's probably the beads. It's the beads. Yeah. So I got this chart. I got oh. Old Crow Brew. And the story behind this is that there's a brewery pub place in Tulare, California, which they're out of Visalia, California. So if you are in the uh, Tulare County area of California, you'll know what I'm talking about. And for all of you who are dealing with flooding there, I'm sorry, because mm -hmm. it's flooding bad, really sorry, badly. So stay, safe, every, stay safe. Yeah. And be careful when you're driving and all that. So anyway, so in Tulare, there's, they, she designed uh, this chart he asked her to design a chart and host a cross stitch dinging you're dinging again uh, a cross stitch night come at like a instead of like a sip and paint it's like a sip and stitch and i'm like you should totally that do that really cool so she we i volunteered her i said <laughs> Bronnie, go do that go do that yes and i got this one which is like an easter stitch it's called heat a rose it's too. an egg that's really pretty and then this is accuracy. This is me. All of my pants are sassy pants. Yeah. Yep. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. It's fitting. Your turn. It's perfect. Your turn. My turn. All right. So let's see. 
I had, um, I'll show oh, you. Oh, I have something for you. For me? Yeah. Oh, here you go. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, Annie B's. Yeah, she, Annie B's full she had a bunch of stickers. You. That is super cute. I've got a Sorry. cup. I brought one. Um, like a thermos kind of thing. And I put my stickers on there. So that's really cute. Thanks, Cheryl. You're welcome. I, I, she's like, take as many as you want. I'm like, well, I can't dump the whole thing into my bag. That would be rude. <laughs> So I'm going to just take three. <laughs> That's, fair. That's fair. So um, as you all know, I'm a huge Plum Street sampler fan. Yes. And so I got a few. I had to restrain. It was really yeah. hard. It was very hard. So this one was a no-brainer. Yeah. Because that I know. That's a companion to the one you did last year. The one at the pink house. Oh, yes. She's, it, she says it's a companion. Yes, it's a companion to... Um, this is the day. This is the day. Thank mm -hmm. you. And they both start with this. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yep. What is it called? Know. Yep. And so there was that one. That was a no brainer. And then there is um, Spring Moon. Uh huh. Oh, sorry about the glare, guys. Really sorry. There we go. Spring Moon, um, which I just loved. And then there's another one. Um, it's Christmas Mini Moon that is kind of a companion to this one. And then I think she's releasing another. She's releasing more in the summer. More moons. More moons. Lots of moons. So, and then this one, maybe I can probably show this later. I, I Did have, you not buy the other I one? I do. I just, I think it's at work. Sorry. So anyway, this was a, um, what are they, a collaboration. collaboration. Um, Between Beth Twist and of uh, Paulette Strings, Stewart. Uh, Heartstring Samplery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Heartstring Samplery. And then Paulette Stewart did this one. So there's Float Like a Butterfly. Dang, that glare. Sorry, guys. Float Like a Butterfly. And then the other one is Sting Like a Bee. That's the, the companion yeah. that's... Um, Oh, there you go. There's the two. Together. And actually, you'll see them because I have them. Oh, it's part of my haul too. So yeah, they're. I had to. Had to. So another thing I picked up at Market was from Donna Olson of Satin Stitches. It's called Small Treasures. It's a hard danger chart. It's. She said this is like a beginner pattern, mm -hmm. a beginner hard danger. And I'm like, well, I'm obviously a beginner with this. So hard please, dangers. it's fun. It's been a while, but yeah. So um. I'm hoping to start this. You'll really enjoy it. It's very um, therapeutic. Yeah, and it's different. It's different. So, so this is a newer, I don't know if they're new. They're new to market. I don't know if they're new on the scene, but they're new to market. My sister's samplers. Oh, isn't that pretty? My, si my sister's samplers is a labor of love of two sisters born from our mutual love of antique samplers. We hope that you enjoy stitching this design as much as we've enjoyed reproducing it for you. So uh, they were sharing the room with Gloriana silks this year. That's beautiful. And I went in there and I sat down because we bought some silks while we were there. I actually was able to get the silks for Liz Matthews pattern. Wow. It was a Christmas miracle. Anyways, so I was able to, I was sitting there and we were going to pay and I like sit down and I look up and this sampler model was sitting there and I was like what is that I mean I saw all these emails right like she sent me the emails but it's different when you see them in different. person and they're and huge you know. this one isn't that big actually which was nice um but it's called Ann Richardson age nine years because there's no actual year mm. and it's stitched with Vicki Clayton silks so I'm going to be looking into that situation because mm -hmm. She is like, if you want, she has a DMC conversion on this, but if she's like, if you want it to have that shine, you ha like have it look like that, then you need to stitch it with Vicki Clayton silks. And I was like, well, looks like I'm going to be it giving her be. a jingle yeah. jangle. And I did actually. So more to come on that. Okay. And then this situation, that thing is so cool. So I got some free things from people at market and like gifts right um you know the PR things and then I had people just being kind and so this is kind of like stitchy kindness um on Sunday um I was walking around like I said and I we were on our way to me and Maggie were on our way to the Valdani room um because I'm stitching fluffy I'm going to stitch or punch needle fluffy oh um, by old tatter flag and it calls, it? yeah, it's in this book. Cause this, I took this with me to market. So this has everything in it <laughs> still. Is it still in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to be punching this. Fluff. Look how fluffy he He's is. Awesome. 
Love it. Mm -hmm. So it uses Valdani uh, pearl cottons. So um, we went in there because Maggie said that we could, that I could get them. So I was doing that. And on the way was the, the suite for um, the elegant thread. She has project bags that she doesn't sell wholesale all the time. It's usually just when she has extra stock. Those are really cool. And I, this stopped me in my tracks. So if you are, if this offends you, I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I like pinup things. This is not offensive to me. So I'm sorry if it is to you, but I think it's adorable. And this is just that's really cute. freaking cute. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it stopped me in my tracks and I asked her about it. And um, then later on, she was trying to like offload products. So she didn't have to take it home. And she's like, here, just take it home. And I was like, oh my gosh, you don't have to do that. I like that. That's so sweet, you know? And she's like, no, please just take it. And I said, okay, so I did. <laughs> so I got that. The lady at Val in Valdani gave me this beautiful six stranded. <gasps> Ooh. It Look looks color. Yeah. I was That's like, I was Googling color. and she's like, here, just take just it. Take I'm it. like, okay, thank you. So I got that gift too. But also in this, um, oh, there's a little one. There's a little notion pouch. Oh, so cute. And this is the inside fabric. Looks like a hound's tooth. Mm -hmm. And then she also gave me this little needle minder. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And it has like a little covered button thing for the, for the magnet part. And then she also gave this scissor fob. This was like a set. Like, buy me and sell it to your customers. And so it was really nice that she did that because she really yeah. didn't have to do that. She has a, um, this is all of her information, the Elegant Thread Store. Because she does sell direct to consumer as well. She no longer has an Etsy. Mm. Um, she has her own website. So here's, and then here's, here's all her emails and her handles and all that sort of stuff. So awesome. if you're interested in cool stuff, she had lots of different kinds of bags and things too. Um, but she, a lot of what she sells is like scissor fobs and um, needle minders. And they're like, all handmade. Mm -hmm, like, and they're really stinking cute, nice, obviously. Nice. So that was, um, right. I think that's all I got from actual market. The rest is from the shop. Right. Oh, wait, just kidding. I lied. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> from Praiseworthy Stitches, I got this thread counter. Oh, stitch pretty. counter thing. You, it's hard to tell. Maybe if I take it out of the plastic. There you go. We need a crinkle, white crinkle. And so there's glare. Sorry. So it's. It's really pretty. Yeah. So I got that. I like that. And. When I was in, I have this one thing to show you because it's hilarious. <laughs> no. No. When I say hilarious, because before I've talked about how we're sarcastic. Just a little bit. I grew a up lot with it. two younger brothers and I was the only girl. And so I am a big Well, I have smart no Alex. excuse because I was the no. youngest. And so I'm fluent. Sorry. Sorry, not Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, not sorry. Okay. Okay. So when I was in Franny Ryder's room, she next to her um, checkout area, she had this bowl of these little note card, note notepads, tabs, notepads. Be prepared to be amazed. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's tiny. And it says, complaints. Please describe problems in full detail below. <laughs> It's an inch big. And then if you account for the rest of the space, because there's printing, so you, if you awesome. have less than an inch to describe your problem. You better write really, really small. You can need a magnifying glass to read that. This. That's awesome. Is life. Yep. It, it is. <laughs> I was cracking here. up. I was cracking up. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're my spirit animal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That's Describe awesome. in full detail. Yep. You only get one sheet. <laughs> one. One sheet. There you go. Like I said. 
I hope so you have a magnifying glass. This came <laughs> home from, this. you know this reminds me of is when you're in high school or whatever and they say you can have one three and a half by five index card. Oh, for your and notes. For your for notes, your... for your exam or whatever. You can have one card and you write in the most minuscule writing possible. There you go. That's it. So it's prepared me. It prepared me to department. write my complaints. <laughs> Put that to your kids. I know, right? <laughs> She also gave you these cute things. Not as funny as those, but if you want to describe or make your small cross stitches. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So. Oh, here. that's really handy. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, she's like, here, just take as many. Oh, I'm like, okay. Those are great. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Wow, those are great. Okay, what else did you buy? What else did I buy? Okay, so let's see. I got I got three kind of separate ones here. So we have this one. Um, this was an exclusive to market. And these aren't like limited edition ones. They're just, they were exclusive to the event. Yeah, so how, it, what all exclusive means. So when you, when you see exclusive on something, all that means is the only place you can buy that particular item is through a shop or an online store that attended market or right. the event. So they're not limited charts. For so a limited time. Right. So like after 60 days or 30 days or whatever the designer says, it's usually 30 to 60 days. Then it will be released to every shop available mm -hmm. who did not attend market. Correct, correct. That's so, all that means. That's all that means, so. Limited edition is different. <laughs> yeah, so these aren't limited edition. Yeah. Um, so this is a Tiny Modernist, but I loved the motifs on here. This is Stitcher's Garden by Tiny Modernist. And I just, I loved all those little tiny I like little tiny motifs. Mm -hmm. They're just really fun to stitch. They're like mini finishes. It, yeah, it's like a little, but that house with all those flowers, I just, I couldn't get over it. So I had to have that one. And then of course I had to have, um, this is um, Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitching. Um, In person, it was gorgeous. Yeah, this is um, Summer Garden at Cranberry Manor. I just, she had so many beautiful charts, but this one was my favorite. So I had to kind of pick and choose, but I loved that house and all those flowers and everything it just she's got that whole series uh -huh. and they're they're all amazing and then <clears throat> um this was a walk through the garden by stacy nash this is her exclusive this was her exclusive also and i just liked how tiny i liked a little quick note about stacy nash because i didn't buy any new stacy nash oh so when you're at a place or looking online for Stacy Nash and they show a picture of the front of the pattern, Stacy Nash used to have big a big black oh, lock mm -hmm. she up here. Her she changed her logo. This is now her logo. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, where is it? It's there. It's just she changed. Yeah, she the changed the logo. Different. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. So that's Thank all. You. Okay, that's all. Quick aside. Yeah. There you go. Next. My turn? Yep. Oh, <laughs> yay. Okay, so I got a needlework press. It's called Hannah's Pomegranate. <gasps> I love that one. And part of the reason, well, I just loved it regardless, but um, it's pulled from an antique sampler. So it's actually this flower right here. And what I love about it is, well, the colors, but also it's using the brand new um, Classic Colorworks Belle Swa colors that were designed by um, Tanya of Scarlet House and Victoria of Needlework Press. So oh, they're just delightful. Mm -hmm. It's just like they fall. The silks are so. They're just oh. If you've ever stitched gorgeous. with these silks, they're gorgeous. just so nice to stitch with. So these are the colors. They're so soft. So that's a pretty good representation yeah, of good. them. And they are used heavily in this chart. Those are really pretty. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an immediate start because there's more in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I have to decide. Maybe I got more than you. I don't it's think possible. You no. Well, I, I, I kind of lumped some of mine together. Oh, maybe that. I like this. So, so it looks like I got more, but really she did. <laughs> so so part it's not really a market haul, but like the Valdani cut threads for Fluffy that was that's a birthday that's Aww. that was a birthday gift that was good that was good so that's that'll be part of my birthday haul i think all right want me to go you go you go so we both got this chart did oh, you get this chart i did hold on 
So this is um, her new punch needle, uh, Teresa Kogut. She had two. Stitchy Bluebird, yeah. She had two new punch needles, but this is the one that motivated me to finish my last punch needle and get it off of my Morgan hoop. <laughs> well, funny so, story, too. Yeah. Go ahead. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I started punch needling years ago. Like Did before you find it? People, I still haven't found it. I'm looking, okay? It's probably in a box, or I just got rid of it because I was... It, don't ever get rid of your stuff. Anyway. So I started stitching years ago before people really knew what punch needle was and the tools weren't as good and the instructions weren't as good. And so things have changed a ton mm -hmm. with punch needle. Yeah. And so this actually inspired me to pick it up, pick it up again and, and kind of reteach myself how to do it. Yeah. Because the stuff is, is we need to get you an ultra punch. I need an ultra punch. Yeah. I was, I can't even remember the tools I was using. They were rudimentary and terrible. One thing that's awesome about this one is that the this little strawberry on the um, tomato is actually a three dimension. It sits off of. Oh. It sits off like as. Did it, you see that finished at the? Yeah. Thing? Uh, and I was like. At market. Yeah. Is so like anyway, that? so that's one of my finishes. You already saw oh, this from Spring Moon. I got Spring Moon. This one was like a, ha a must have it. Mm -hmm. Must have. The colors, um, everything about this. I was like, because it wasn't bright pink. It, and that's one of the things that Paulette said. She abandoned her normal color palette when she designed this chart. Oh, because she does a, she does uh, do a, a lot, lot of more pink bright colors. And bright colors. Yeah. And like specific reds and things. Mm -hmm. She chose colors she normally does not use mm -hmm. with this chart yeah, and I was fun. like wow this is something special mm -hmm. so that one is your good. turn all right so this is another collaboration this was hands-on design and um summer house stitch works and this is between friends and it's a book so there's several different um here on the designs back. there you go so there's several different patterns available in here um all together and I just I loved the main one here but the other patterns in there are so cute. One of them makes a needle book, and one of them makes a... a is it Bizcorn U or Biz, Biz, Bizcorn, Bicorn U? I don't know, whatever. Depending upon who you ask, potato, potato. Right. Sorry, so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Bicorn U. Whatever. So, anyway. <laughs> whatever it's called. Yeah, so there's a bunch of really cute finishes in there. Or American. For the, I know. Sorry. I apologize if it's terrible. I know. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Our Americanese. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Sorry about that. So that way... Okay, let me do... Actually... I'm doing these all together okay. at once. So yeah. I, let's do this one next. Oh, so Jeanette got the float. I also, she, I think you also got the heart string at one as well. It, it, I do. And I found, look at I found. There it is. Here it is. I found it. Yeah. So we both got these. Um, and I was told that there will be a way, to, like a, a joining chart to join both of these together so that you can stitch oh, them, I see. float like a butterfly, and then the heartstrings sting like a bee on the bottom. There will be a join, a joining stitch that's free on their blog. Oh, cute. Or if websites. you want to stitch them together. Yeah, okay. and that's my plan because they they use the same colors. Yeah, they do. It's, it's the same colors, so you can get the same threads for the same thing, stitch it on the same fabric. The whole point, I think, was that it's a collaboration together, but you can do them separate also as a pin, she calls it a pin keep or a pin give, so you can give it away to a friend. That's cute. Or you could do a stitch along with a friend where you stitch, you stitch both parts, but then you give one part of one part to, like, you stitch this part and this part, but then you give one part to your friend mm -hmm. and then they give you the other part. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. So you could do it together as a stitch along with a friend. I love that. I love it. Um, let's see. So I also have this limited edition kit. So this is limited. Um, it's a needle book kit called Sweater Vest Weather. I had a whole conversation with Stephanie Webb about this thing, man. <laughs> oh, baby. I love this so much. The amount of pun and hilariousness with this... <laughs> It's so me. Okay, so it's turkeys and sweater vests because, yes. Why not? 
it's <laughs> to say that I love this is an understatement. It's you should home. stitch that first. You need to just get on it. I, see, stitching. I can't. There's more in this bag. Maybe you did get more haul than I did. I thought I had you beat, but maybe not. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Nothing to see here. All right. Everything to see here, right? So anyway, so th what this came with is everything you need. I think you just, just it comes with 32 count light taupe Lugana, the cotton quilting fabrics for the outside of the, or the inside of the book, the sky blue felt for the, to hold the needles or Oh, because it makes a little book. It, made, it makes a needle book. Makes a book. Fusible fleece interfacing, three jeweled counting pins, which I believe are made by lady.creates. Um, wow. Cross stitch pattern and full instruction finishing with photographs. So it has, so you need the threads which I don't have, so I can't start it today. It's probably DMC though. I don't remember. But anyways, that is sweater, vest, weather. That is too cute. Oh, there's two patterns. It's a, it's a needle book. Oh, oh, I see. So I'm that's sorry. the full thing you're stitching. I gotcha. I thought it was just the one side, but then there's, it's double there's sided. There's one here. I gotcha. It's double sided. I gotcha. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. So I got that. And then this is a new designer. Did you get this chart or no? I did. It's I have it. It's here. So this is a new designer. Her name is Lindsay. She's out of Boise, Idaho. And her pattern name is Counting Puddles. And I embarrassed the crap out of her yesterday. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I actually am sorry. I felt really bad. Because she's introverted and I'm clearly not. So, <laughs> um, But I, I wanted to introduce her to all the people that were at our market release party because I was so excited she was there. And I love her design. Like, stinking adorable. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, she had her stitch there and like I brought She's it home. She's really sweet. She's super sweet. And I was just so excited she was there. So I was like, hey, everybody, this is Lindsay from Counting Puddles. Isn't she amazing? Blah, whatever. Yeah. And she was just like, she, yeah. Ah! <laughs> so public announcement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I embarrassed you. I was just so excited mm -hmm. that she was there. But it was really neat to meet her. Yeah. So yeah. This and then is, she's local. I didn't know she was local. So that yeah. was really cool. She, she she's out of Boise. Yeah. So this so. is um, this is the Tea Time color palette from X Stitch the Rainbow Collaborative. And it's using the Trainway Silks um, color palette. So this is stitched with silks. There is also a, um, is there a DMC floss conversion? Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. Duh. Wow. A DMC floss conversion on the back. So if you don't want to use silk, you can use DMC. But I think there's only three colors. There's only three colors. One, two, three. But she's also using this for back stitch. Oh, okay. Wait. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. She's only using the three colors, three not colors. the dark red color or whatever. Yeah. Anyways. So that's her, that's that stitch. It's really cute. Your turn. All right. So this is a little bit of a ridiculousness. It's because I am obsessed and I have a problem. So I apologize ahead of time and I'll burn through these quickly because otherwise we'll be here forever now. And uh, yeah, so I bought like literally all. You bought every I think I Teresa bought Kogut every pattern. Every single new Teresa Kogut. Except for that one diamond punch needle. Yes, that was the only one I didn't buy. Yes. Yeah, because I haven't quite gotten into the punch needle thing quite yet. So, It'll happen. So let's see. We have needle and flax. Oops. And I just love that. I had to have it. Had to have it. So there's needle and flax. This one, these colors are amazing. Are you going to start that soon? Nature. I haven't decided which one. It's going to have to be an ink of ink of bubble ink quirk fill out. Hi, stink. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yes. Strawberry Manor. I love that one. And I just love it. I just. And then this is Remember Me. Some of these were Patreon exclusives that have been released to the general public. Correct. So. Yes. And, um, yeah, so you could have gotten these as a, as PDF, a PDF on um, Patreon, and I have a couple of them already. Which one is this? Yes. This is Remember Me. Um, in fact, I think um, Sherry is stitching this already. Hers is almost done, I think. Oh. She's already working on it. But I like having, I like the book. And so I have a couple of them that are pre-printed oh, um, on the of PDF. Printing. Never mind. <laughs> and then Beauty Fades. This is the one that she had available on Patreon for like a week only. And Lisa Smith from Kindred Stitcher 
she has this almost done. She took off part of it, but she's, like, got this almost completed. That is incredible. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Beauty fades. Like, prolific stitching. I'm, like, I'm jealous. I, some of these ladies are amazing. And like they how? stitch. Yes. Crazy fast. And I just, I wish I could. But that's okay. I take, I, I get it in when I can. And then, of course, egg collector. And that was the exclusive. That was the exclusive. Yeah. So, this, I think, was available on her Patreon. It was. But, um, now it's a. Everybody. printed chart that you guys can have yeah because she she sh likes people to make it feel like they're getting something special for signing up for right. the patreon um one of them um that i'm really excited about is one that she had released last year at a retreat that she did it was pernice manor mm -hmm. and you can only get it at the retreat so i'm hoping Teresa, i have a consult yes consult and hall situation consult and hall yeah you'll see so, okay. Anyway. Okay, go. Um, you have more here, young lady. No, no, this... no. I just oh, th 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 those are old. Those are just in the bag. These are old. They're not old. You just bought them. But they weren't from market. So, they weren't. From this market. isn't from market. Oh. These I were... mean, it is, but not really. These were a couple of old. These are older old blackbird blackbird designs patterns. In fact, I think this one might be out of um, print. Easter parade is actually out of print. Maybe. And I came across it on accident, and I just. And then this one is flea market. Um, flea market that one was reproduced, so I think reprinted. I don't remember. I think, but I kind of had them in the bag, and I'm like, well, I should. This is how. Them. Let me see. This is how old that is. There's no barcode. That's how long we had that in there. That's when we got that in the shop. Oh wow. Yeah, it's been there a while. Okay, so, so another haul that I got from it, this is not a market release, but it's something I had Annie put in our oh. pre-order bag, <laughs> so I could get it. So it's called. Uh, this is by Dirty Annie Southern Style. Talk to me, Goose. Mm -hmm. And it uses one skein of Weeks Dye Works Peacoat. So this is the... I have two colors that I'm trying to decide. Ooh. So this is the pattern. Okay. It's really cool. If you're a, if you're a Top Gun fan... Yeah. Which my husband is, so I bought it, and I'm going to stitch it for him and give it... And it comes with the little gold star. Oh, yes. Because military right? Mm -hmm. Any whoosies. So we're going to talk about what fabric I'm going to use. This is part of plants too, because I'm probably going to be starting these. Oops. All right. Like I need another whip. <laughs> <laughs> like a hole in the head? Yes. Okay. So this is also haul, not haul, but market haul. So Judy Whitman, she created the oh. most beautiful stitches for market. Um, this is the one I have to start now. I must have it. I bought the threads. This is called Eliza's French Birds, 1849. I really like that chart a lot. It is exquisite and stitched up, guys. It's beautiful. Like, in her room, I was like, I need this right now. Like, and I already had it on my list anyways. Mm-hmm. So, I might have to go back and grab that one. It's beautiful. And I there's also it. an Eliza Sewing Smalls that was taken from the same sampler mm -hmm. that she then turned into, like, you know, scissor fobs and things like that um, to stitch up. So this is, these are the threads. I am doing a combination of the called for DMC and Classic Color Works threads. I did change the brown because it was calling, like, the DMC equivalent was, like, a mobby color that I didn't want to use. So, I'm using an actual brown. Mm. I like that. Here. Can you hold maybe. Can you get it up maybe. there? Ah, there we go. There we go. And I'm going to use a uh, That's really pretty, 36 Cheryl. count linen Weeks Dye Works parchment. That's what this is. Pretty. Yep. I think that floss toss was successful. That was a really good one. Yeah, very. I nice was very one. excited, and so I when I come when I go home today, I'm making my floss drops for these. Love it. Will be a start very shortly. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's Eliza's sewing smalls, and I have one more. <laughs> Hi. I buy things. <laughs> So you have no idea how hard it is working at a cross stitch it's store. It's terrible because you, it's hard. It's yes. hard. And I promised my husband when I got hired to work at Maggie's on Main that I would come home with a paycheck. You do. I promised. 
And so I'm pretty good. You sell bags. I sell bags. And so to that pay kinda... for her cross stitch. So buy bags so she could buy more cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So Primrose Cottage Stitches, they gave this bag as your pre-order bag. Oh, what does it say? I don't know. Says, My soul is fed with needle and thread. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Okay. So. She got going on there. What do I have? So, <clears throat> Christy Crosshatch Quilts and Pam from Pam and Steph just keep stitching. They both have stitched this and completed it. And it's been on my radar for a while. Ever since I saw Christy's. And this was also a quilt pattern. It is a... The start over. My friend, Melanie, she let me borrow... <laughs> her chart it's called america by blackbird designs wow and it's very out of print it was a also a quilt as well a quilt pattern so i'm gonna have to track that down and make that as well because you have to i have to so i was loaned this chart so i must start it now mm -hmm. immediately handle with care handle with care no she hand she's like cheryl i'm like what I turn around and she's like, here you go. And I was like, I will guard it with my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I will give you my firstborn if I ruin it. <laughs> you may have to. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to, it calls to stitch. Okay. The, what this is called to stitch on is a 10 count canvas. Oh, wow. That's not happening. It'd be like. Yeah. You need like eight skate, no, eight skeins of 640. Oh my DMC. God. Wow. This is all DMC, by the way. So that's great because otherwise I'd be poor. That's really cool. So this is my favorite fabric of all time. 36 count. Uh, Olympia, Olympia by Mystic Fibers. Mystic Fabrics. And I have hair all over it. That's not mine. It's mine. But this is the scrap I have and it will fit on Is this. it going to fit on there? Yes. I measured it last all night. All right. So it's like yes. right here. And then this is the threads. You can see that. That color palette is it's so gonna, amazing. Originally, I was going to do it on that 36 count parchment by weeks. Mm -mm. But then I was like, I wonder if this will fit. Before I do a floss toss and then get disappointed mm -hmm. that it won't fit, I'm going to measure it first. 36 count? Yeah, it's 36 count. So it's going to be wee with its done. It's a wee. It's going to be wee. A wee stitch. But it'll fit in a frame. It'll be really yeah. cute. So that's that. Yep. And I then support it. This is the pattern again. <clears throat> So this is in my plants. It's a good so one. So this was part of my market haul because I bought it, I bought it yesterday during the market party. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> so, she brought it yesterday and I was like, start. Mm -hmm. Start immediately. Yep, start immediately. So actually this might be the next start and then I'll start Eliza's. So we stuff. know what she's doing when she gets home. Hi. <laughs> I'm putting these on floss drops. Mm -hmm. Amazing, okay. amazing. Using my cool thread winder thing that Laura got me. So. I love it. So all that's right. all of my haul. I think that's it. That was really fun, though. Yeah. So for those of you who stuck with us while yeah. we did all that, thank you. Because mm -hmm. that was a blast. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video, or if you're not sure where to get something, if you're wanting to contact, get the info for this, message us. Mm -hmm. um, call the store. Call the shop. I, I know we have these still. We also still have the thread packs. Mm-hmm. Support this new designer because she's the sweetest person. She really is. Yeah. Like, and yeah, it was totally like a share from Clueless. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. That's yeah. Amazing. And I, then I felt really bad and I was apolo apologizing profusely oh. for being like a jerk and putting her, Johnny on the spot. Right. Oh, My bad. It's all good. Yeah. All so. right. But I don't have anything else. So just follow us on our Instagrams. Follow her um, her business handle for her sh for her shop page mm -hmm. as well. We're very strongly considering starting a website. Do that. It's going to be a, a bit, but um, I think we're going to abandon ship from Etsy. Etsy. After um, the recent news on that. But yeah. anyway. So it's, it's going to take a hot minute, but... We're working on that, too. We've I'll help you out. Got a lot of things in the works there. Yeah. But anyway, um, thank you guys for sticking with us again. And uh, hopefully this video... Where's the needle roll? Or the... Oh, that. This? These. These will be available on her shop eventually. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eventually. Thanks for the plug there. I'm just saying because awesome. I'm probably going to have you make me one. 
I'll just give you this one. Okay. There you go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to, you're going to sell that one. Anyways. So thank you so much for watching. Our, our handles will be down below if you have questions about anything. Um, I'll try and tag as much stuff as possible um, down below in the description box. Mm -hmm. um, please consider liking the and subscribing the, and subscribing to our channel it helps. and hit the bell so then you're notified when we upload yep and we got new stuff coming yeah. we've got some stitch alongs we're thinking about yeah and um, that'll be announced at the next video mm -hmm. so we'll talk about that it'll probably be the end of march that we'll do a video or the beginning of april april so when our next video will be yep it maybe maybe sooner i probably not i don't know we'll see march is weird <laughs> It's a weird a lot. Month. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Going so, on. any hoosies. But thank you so much for watching. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Let's start over. My okay. friend, Melanie, she let me borrow <laughs> her chart. It's called America by Blackbird Designs. Wow. And it's very out of print. It was a also a quilt as well, a quilt pattern. So, I'm going to have to track that down and make that as well because... You have to. I have to. So I was loaned this chart. So I must start it now. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Handle with care. Handle with care. No, she hand she's like, Cheryl. I'm like, what? I turn around and she's like, here you go. And I was like, I will guard it with my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I will give you my first board and if I ruin it. <laughs> you may have to. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to stitch. It calls to stitch. Okay. The what this is called to stitch on is a 10 count canvas. Oh, wow. That's not happening. It'd be like. Yeah, you need like eight skate. No, eight skeins of 640. Oh, my DMC. God. Wow. This is all DMC, by the way. So that's great because otherwise I'd be poor. That's really cool. So this is my favorite fabric of all time. 36 count. Uh, Olympia, Olympia by Mystic Fibers. Mystic Fabrics. And I have hair all over it. That's not mine. It's mine. But this is the scrap I have, and it will fit on Is this. it going to fit on there? Yes. I measured it last night. All right. So it's like yes. right here. And then this is the threads. You can see that. That color palette is it's so gonna, amazing. Originally, I was going to do it on that 36 count parchment by weeks. Mm -mm. But then I was like, I wonder if this will fit. Before I do a floss toss and then get disappointed mm -hmm. that it won't fit, I'm going to measure it 36 first. 36 count? Yeah, it's 36 count. So it's going to be wee. When it's done. It's a wee. It's going to be wee. A wee stitch. But it'll fit in a frame. It'll be really yeah. cute. So that's that. Yep. And I then support it. This is the pattern again. <clears throat> so this is in my plants. It's a good so one. So this was part of my market haul because I bought it, I bought it yesterday during the market party. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> so, she brought it yesterday and I was like, start. Mm -hmm. Start immediately. Yep. Start immediately. So actually this might be the next start and then I'll start Eliza's. So we know what she's doing when she gets home. Hi. <laughs> I'm putting these on floss drops. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Using my cool thread winder thing that Laura got me. So. I love it. So all that's right. all of my haul. I think that's it. That was really fun though. Yeah. So for those of you who stuck with us while yeah. we did all that, thank you. Because mm -hmm. that was a blast. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video, or if you're not sure where to get something... If you're wanting to contact, get the info for this, message us. Mm -hmm. um, call the store. Call the shop. I, I know we have these still. We also still have the thread packs. Mm -hmm. Support this new designer. Because she's the sweetest person. She really is, yeah. Like, and, yeah, it was totally like a share from Clueless. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. That's yeah, and I, then I felt really bad, and I was poly apologizing profusely oh. for being, like, a jerk and putting our, Johnny on the spot, right? Oh, My bad. It's all good. Yeah. All so, right. But I don't have anything else, so just follow good. us on our Instagrams. Follow her um, her business handle for her, sh for her shop page mm -hmm. as well. We're very strongly considering starting a website. Do that. It's going to be a, a bit, but um, I think we're going to abandoned ship from Etsy Etsy after um, the recent news on that but yeah. anyway so it's, it's gonna take a hot minute but we're working on that too I'll we're, help you out got a lot of things in the works there yeah. but anyway um thank you guys for sticking with us again and
and uh, hopefully this video where's the needle roll or the oh, that this these these will be available on her shop eventually mm -hmm. yep eventually thanks for the plug there i'm just saying because awesome. i'm probably gonna have you make me one <laughs> I'll just give you this one. Okay. There you go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to, you're going to sell that one. Anyways. So thank you so much for watching. Our, our handles will be down below if you have questions about anything. Um, I'll try and tag as much stuff as possible um, down below in the description box. Mm -hmm. um, please consider liking the... And subscribing. The, and subscribing to our channel. It helps. And hit the bell so then you're notified when we upload yep and we got new stuff coming yeah. we've got some stitch alongs we're thinking about yeah and um, that'll be announced at the next video mm -hmm. so we'll talk about that it'll probably be the end of march that we'll do a video or the beginning of april april so when our next video will be yep it maybe maybe sooner i probably not i don't know we'll see march is weird it's <laughs> a weird a lot, month there's a lot going on yeah lot going so on. any hoosies but thank so. you so much for watching all right thanks guys Bye. bye